Okay, Emil here back with a quick tutorial, this time how to install this locally so you don't have to mess with uh, Google Collabs and uh, yeah, it's, it's a bit of a hassle to upload and then being shut off once. So it's better to do this locally. If you have a decent graphics card, that can, uh, then you can do this locally. I'm going to show you how to install it and then show you uh, what the interface looks like, how you, how you process your files, how you train them basically, and then uh, show you an awesome sample uh, of my quad uh, preamp that I recently did. It is unreal. <laughs> um, so start off uh, by installing Anaconda and uh, Git. Um, so uh, it, I'm, I'm going on quite fast here because uh, I don't want this to be a, a super long video. So you can pause the video and then do it step by step. Um, once you install the Anaconda and Git, uh, you need to set the permissions for Anaconda to full control. So the way you do this is open my computer, see uh, program data, open that, scroll uh, and then Anaconda 3, right click, preferences, security and then um, change this. So you allow everything, full control. All right. Uh, make sure you do that. Otherwise, if you don't want to do that, you can just every time you open Anaconda, you can uh, open it as administrator. Then you want to create a folder. I have already done this in my. Uh, uh, I I don't like to do it on the desktop, so I've done it here in my like folders. Uh, call it Nam. Uh, then you want to open it and copy the the path. So copy that. Close it. Um, then you want to open Anaconda prompt. Anaconda prompt. Type in CD and then paste in your path you just copied. Hit enter. Good. And then you want to paste in this right here. enter. All right, it's gonna do its thing. Wait a little bit. All right, done. Uh, then paste in this neural amp modeler. Then you want to paste in this right here press enter and this part takes a long time so could be 10 to 20 minutes so um, take a break and um, I'll be back when it's when it's done all right okay and it's done it should look something like this and uh, now you install the whole process so uh, what you do next and this is what you do every time you open Anaconda uh, to do this you just paste in Conda activate NAM enter and then type in NAM and then your interface will pop up. And it looks like this. Okay, so there's one more step before it works. Um, you could try, but for me, it wouldn't load my input file. It would give me an error. So what you have to do is um, download, um, download this file. The link is, um, is in the instructions. Core, and you need to replace the the core that is in here. So go to your NAM folder, open this, go to NAM and then train. And this core needs to be replaced. All right, so just go ahead and drag this in. Okay, replace and you're good to go. Okay, uh, quickly, let me show you how to do this locally now. So once you have your two files, uh, the v111 and your output file here, you just go to the Anaconda prompt that we just installed. Um, you wanna then paste in this line, conda activate nam, enter, and then just type in nam and you get this quite uh, simple and, and nice interface right there and then just simply uh, find your folder the quad 
input, output, and choose a destination folder. Uh, you can also um, choose your quality here. Um, so it's a bit easier actually than the, the Collabs site. And then just train and close this. And then it's, it's off. And I mean, I have a, a fairly old uh, NVIDIA card. Uh, it's actually faster than the Google uh, online thing. So, um, I mean, you might be lucky. You can at least try if this works locally on your computer, uh, but you do need a decent graphics card. Um, so, yeah, um, let me, um, I mean, the process is automatic, so you don't have to do anything else but wait. So uh, let me uh, play you out with this, the new profiles. The profiles are also in in the link, which you can download. Um, the quad is an awesome preamp. I'm slaving it into my Mark IV, by the way, uh, similar class, uh, presence at five. Um, if you like this video, please like it and share it with others so we can get the word out. Uh, this is an awesome plugin. And I like the DIY approach and uh, that you can capture your own amps. So that is awesome. So let me play you out. I'll see you in the next one. All right, bye. Okay, speaking of reamp boxes, um, all that they are is a transformer. Uh, this case was a DA box, so it had the wrong uh, XLR um, jack there. So what I did, uh, I just switched that with a um, with a uh, female instead. Uh, the transformer is a Swedish one, a Lundahl SR501. So it's a one-to-one -one transformer, it's gonna work great as a reamp box. There's not really much to it.